Hi, my name is Brian, and this is a demo of the features of the Stitch Library in Intwine Studio. The Stitch Library is located under Tools, Stitch Library, and the when you open it, you'll get the entire library, and you can see the first column is the stitch, or the name of the stitch, then the icon, the abbreviation, which is what shows up in the written instructions, the description, how you work the stitch, the opposite, which uh, is what would show up on the wrong side row. So for a knit, it would be a purl and vice versa. And the category, which is how we break it down on the stitch palette. And then selected, which uh, is used in the stitch library and allows you to either export sets or delete stitches. So we will go ahead and when you select a stitch, you'll notice that the built-in stitches, there are two things that can be changed. You can change the category and you can also change the icon. So we'll go to the knit and if you click on the icon area it'll open up and you will see that it's showing the knit stitch and you can select an icon and we provide an alternative knit symbol and you can select it and hit OK and we also provide an alternative pearl symbol and we'll change that and go ahead and hit OK. And we can go ahead and add a stitch. And we'll just make this something simple. And we can change the icon. And I've entered some simple icons here, so we'll go ahead and select one. If the icon that you wanted were not in the, in the stitch set already, or not in the library, you can go ahead and add an icon. And when you add an icon, you can add um, an SVG file, you can add it as a PNG, a GIF, or a JPEG. If you add it as a JPEG though, the background color uh, will be fixed to whatever it was in the image that you're loading. So we'll go ahead and open up and bring in the next item. And if you're making this stitch a cable stitch, you can go ahead and add another cell. And we can select the icon that we just added. And I'm going to add more cells so that we can see what the different um, image types look like. So we'll go ahead and add, the first two are uh, SVG, the third one is a PNG, um, then a GIF, and we'll add a JPEG as well. And we'll hit OK. And so we just created a cable stitch. And we can go ahead and enter some instructions. and we can select a category. And if the category we want to add is not in the list, then we can go over, if we want to make our own category, we can do that. Once we've added our stitches, we can go ahead and if you, you can add as many stitches as you want. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and select them and we could export those stitches as a set. And then you could pass the set along to your friends or you could upload them to a website or where, whatever and other people could then use those stitches um, by importing your stitch set. They could use those stitches in their designs. This um, is not required if you just want to pass along a document to another person. If you have used custom stitches in a document, uh, those stitches will be saved along with the document and when it's opened up with someone who doesn't have the stitches, they'll come up just fine. So you don't have to pass along a stitch set for someone just so that they can open a document. We can also, I'll just quickly go over importing a stitch set. So we have some stitches in here and you can see it imported the three stitches that I've put in that set. So I'm going to go ahead and we've, once you've finished making changes to your stitch set, you can go ahead and hit OK. 
the stitch set has been updated and you can see they've been added so I'm going to go ahead and make a new document and you can see that it's using the knit symbol that I had selected earlier and we can go ahead and we can add and I'm going to do color background and you can see that the JPEG ha doesn't have the color but the others all do so those are the basic features of the stitch set in Intwine Studio. Thank you for your time.